Hello everyone, I'm Bohlul Belarait, 3D character artist, and I'm going to start a series of tutorials and share my knowledge about creating 3D characters from scratch to the final render. They are all based on my experience in real production pipeline, and I hope you can use it to develop your career. In this video, I'm using Maya as my main tool, but of course you can transfer this technique to any other 3D package like Blender. Before we move on, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also active the bell so you will get notification as soon as I upload the new videos in this series. If you have any question or if you have any suggestion for the future chapters, please let me know in the comment section below. Let's get started. Before I start the main part, I'm gonna explain the most used short keys or tools that I use in my process. It's mainly for beginners, so if you are already experienced in Maya, you can skip this part and go to the next part. For adding geometry, you can hold shift, right click, and you have a menu to add any simple geometries. For example, I add a cube here, focus by pressing F. You can adjust it, and then you can switch to vertex, face, edge, here I'm, add, I'm going to the vertex mode. You can adjust this part. You can hold shift, control, right click. And in the transform constraint, I already selected edge slide. If you turn it off, you can simply move it around. You can constrain it. I use this sometimes when I'm doing retopology. Let me go back to the off mode. By holding shift right click, you have multi cut tool that you can simply add edge over this box. Sometimes you can drag this edge. You can add a cut along this line like this. Or sometimes you can connect two vertices. And maybe you want to add a complete loop around some edge rings. I'm gonna add subdivision to this box. You can hold shift right click and add a smooth modifier to it. But remember, since it's a box without any extra edge, this smooth will make it more like a sphere. If you want to have an SVR with good topology, this is the best way to make it. But sometimes you want to keep some edges sharper. So in those cases, you need to add a loop on those area so you can make the, those parts sharper. For example, here I add a loop here and here, but I keep these parts without any extra loops. So when I'm adding more geometry, when I'm adding a smooth, it will be like cylinder. But if you want to keep this box more like box, you need to add it on all the directions or all the dimensions. Like this. And of course you have a rounder um, edges. Depends how close those loops are to the edge. So if you want a rounder edges, you need to keep a bit distance from this loop to the edge. After adding more geometry to this box, you may want to adjust the overall shapes and break it from this regular shape to more organic shape. In these cases, you can go to the object mode, hold shift, right click and select the sculpt tool. This is a very useful tool that you can use it a lot. When I zoom back, I can see that brush size is very big and you can press B on your keyboard by hold and drag left mouse button. You can resize this brush. The, the first brush that is selected is a sculpt tool. You may want to adjust this brush by adjusting these options or settings. 
you select it or double click on this icon and you can access to all the settings here you can adjust intensity and again sculpt it for accessing other brushes you can hold shift right click and go to the other brushes the most used brushes are grab bulge sculpt smooth and in some cases freeze so i'm going to switch to grab intensity is very low for grab i usually use 40 to 50 and simply adjust the shapes to have more organic look switch to a smooth brush and smooth the edges a bit but remember when you are adjusting the forms you may break the UV so try to do UV after this process when you are in grab you can simply hold shift and switch to a smooth let me bring a more complex geometry and see how we can use this brush in more complicated object I'm gonna switch to sculpting tool make the brush bigger switch to grab adjust the strength you can see some part of the mesh is blue that is freezed or masked I will explain it a bit in a bit when I'm moving some part of the mesh you can see that just those specific parts are moving you can hold shift control right click and in the fall of type you can move between switch between volume or surface the current status is surface so you only move a specific element on the object so I'm gonna move to volume and you can see all the parts are moving together I use this option a lot so try to remember this short key so if I'm moving between these options quickly in the main course you understand what I'm exactly doing the other part is freezing you can see that some part of the objects is already blue because I already freezed it if I want to clear this part when I selected the freeze mode double click and you have this setting you can simply unfreeze them and now when I use move brush you can move all the parts together it happens a lot that we want to move the objects but we don't want to affect the edges like this part it mostly used in the clothing when we want to keep the for example collar area and just move the, the other parts so what we can do to freeze the edges I select the edge and in the sculpting tab you have an option convert to frozen when I push this button you can see that the edges are blue and when I use a sculpting like grab brush the edge won't be affected okay I use this sometimes so this is how I usually do it. I think we are good with the sculpting so far. For retopology, when we have a very high dense mesh, maybe already created in ZBrush or maybe I already created somewhere like my ISO, we want to get a cleaner mesh out of it. We can always do it in Maya. For this, I usually select the main or dense geometry let me add more geometry to this to look more like a dense mesh I can select it and press this big icon by pressing this it will be like a reference and when when I'm moving a vertex around it it will it will stick to the surface we have an options in Maya by pressing this icon on this corner you have access to all the modeling toolkit 
here we have a quadra that you can use also the short key control shift q and when you click on this or select this option you are able to add point over the high dense reference i create four points around this area and then by holding shift and click you can make a polygon and you can continue adding more polygon i add more points hold shift and click and you can make polygon you can also add edge loop by holding control and click and you can delete some surface by holding control shift and click on the polygons sometimes you can hold control shift select multiple faces and delete all of them together let's add more geometry here but this time instead of adding points i'm gonna hold tab button on the keyboard by clicking and dragging this edge you can ex extend this geometry and add polygon you can also hold tab click on this corner and add geometry like this if i want to add geometry along these two edges you can hold tab middle mouse click and drag like this and when you are uh, you have two elements close to each other you can hold shift click and maya will detect the faces that can be made i hold tab middle mouse click and add geometry like this and then you can simply move the points this is how i create polygon or do retopology in maya when some edges are not actually organized well you can hold shift and by holding click left click and drag you can smooth it a bit or make them relax and the last thing is tweak mode it helps a lot when you want to move some of the vertices and organize them let me turn off this magnet and then here I'm going to inflate and inflate this geometry that we already made. I select all the faces, switch to move to, hold control, middle mouse click and drag to the right or left. I can inflate this geometry out. By default, when you switch to vertex and select one vertex in the move tool, you can select and move. But if you want to switch a lot and move them, it may be a bit annoying because you are doing two actions. One is selecting and then moving. This is two actions. So for switching, it will be a bit time consuming. So what we can do here is holding control shift, right click, and in this menu, you have tweak mode. You can have access to this in the move tool setting. Here you have tweak mode, but I usually use the short key here by holding shift control, right click and selecting this. What we can do here is moving this vertex very quickly. We don't need to select it first and then move it. We can select and move at one, actually a step. It helps a lot when you are organizing some of the uh, vertex, vertices. But remember, when you are moving this vertex, it's actually moving on the surface aligned with the camera. So. If you want to move it in different surface, you need to rotate your camera, fit it first, and then move it. This is what you need to keep in mind. I think we are good now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.